Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's lecture, we'll learn how we can update attribute of multiple nodes in XML using replace value of function in SQL Server. Now, as we know, there is a constraint. If there are multiple nodes at the same level and we try to update the attribute, what happens is it will only update first node whatever which is coming first so it updates only one uh, attribute like one node at a time with its attribute now this constraints uh, cause a lot of trouble when we need to update like complete XMLs. like let us take an example like I have this XML so in this XML my tag start with configuration and end up with con configuration and what I have to do is I have to update all these three nodes okay all these three nodes and I what I need to update is I want to update from uh, like this include children value from true to false okay and I want to do with all the records now what I'm doing is I have a this temporary table like with a table variable where I'm inserting three records so one second uh, one two and three so all three uh, you can say record I want to drivers and I want to update this include children to be false from true so as you know it like where replace value of only works with one el element so if I do in one transaction it, it will do only one update in each one of them not all of them but I need for all of them so how I can achieve it now I have achieved it using a uh, you can say while loop so in while loop what I'm saying is execute this loop till the time there is an element you can say attribute include children to be true on this path the path is configuration slash opt out slash code ID okay now in XML also we can just verify so this is our so path configuration opt out code ID so I'm checking whether any attribute under this code ID exist having true so till that time it exists keep on looping and now what we need to loop is now this second query is the main crux so here what we are doing is now from each record what we are doing is we are uh, multiplying into multiple records now suppose as we know we have only three XML in the tab uh, table variable so what we are doing is now each XML has multiple nodes. like one can have like if we take example this one this has two nodes into it okay so and this one has three nodes into it and three elements we can say and this has two elements so I want to make like first record should be having two records because as I have two element second record should have three elements as I have or uh, like you can say it multiply into three so that because it has a three elements and the reason is because as an I need to update one by one as replace value of function has a constant it can only work one at a time so here what I am doing is I am converting that into multiple nodes you can say multiple XMLs okay so here is the XML text and here what I am doing is okay now if you see the cross apply I am doing is here I am saying cross apply and get me all the nodes where include is you can say true because I don't want to uh, update it multiple times if it has only three then only three record need to be updated okay then what I am saying is replace the value where this attribute is there from true to false these are simple function which we are all all are having then the main thing is going toward this modify now here only we replace the rule now here I am saying modify and using replace value of I am saying replace true with false where uh, attribute name is include children now the main thing as I told you this is the crux because this multiplied multiple like you can say one record into multiple record it converts into multiply into multiple records the reason is if we have four nodes with having this attribute to be true we need three records like three times we need to process the record okay so when we process that record three times what happens is then this loop check whether there is any exist or not if it exists then it will loop it again otherwise it will be fixed okay so now let us see the output let us just execute so let us take second one second one has three true and our output like once after update what is the output now all are converted to the false now as I know uh, as I can say like uh, it's very difficult to understand this query in first look just by running it uh, so that so that's why I just give us like you can say brief introduction about it what it is I will be posting this uh, you can say query onto my website you can download uh, you can say reach that website using the description link which I will be mentioning it so if you have any question feel free to contact you can mail it to me at my email ID that is yogesh.mahal at gmail.com and you can contact me on my whatsapp as also
and this will this is my website so I will be sharing the link under the description of this video for this script which you can take and you can modify as per your need I hope this lecture was helpful to you if you need any help please uh, feel free to contact thank you